How to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines, tips and tricks. Do you want to improve the effectiveness of your user research? Do you want to design products and services that are accessible and inclusive to everyone, including those with disabilities? If so, then you have come to the right place. As an experienced and seasoned user researcher, I have seen the power of incorporating accessibility and GDS guidelines in user research. These guidelines provide a set of best practices and standards for designing and conducting user research that is inclusive and accessible to all users, including those with disabilities. In this video, I will share with you some tips and tricks on how to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines. By following these tips, you will be able to design and conduct user research that is more effective, inclusive, and accessible to all users. Tip 1. Start with a clear understanding of the accessibility and GDS guidelines. The first tip to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines is to start with a clear understanding of these guidelines. Accessibility guidelines provide a set of best practices and standards for designing products and services that are accessible to everyone, including those with disabilities. GDS guidelines, on the other hand, emphasize user-centered design, iterative testing, and continuous improvement. By familiarizing yourself with these guidelines, you will be able to design and conduct user research that is more effective, inclusive, and accessible to all users. Make sure to read through the guidelines thoroughly and refer to them often during the research process. Tip 2. Use a variety of research methods to gather insights from different user groups. The second tip to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines is to use a variety of research methods. Different research methods can provide unique insights into your users' needs and preferences. For example, surveys can help you gather quantitative data on a large scale, while usability testing can help you observe and understand how users interact with your product. When selecting research methods, it's important to consider the diverse needs of your user groups, including those with disabilities. For example, if you are conducting research with users who are visually impaired, you may want to consider using assistive technologies such as screen readers or braille displays. By using a variety of research methods, you will be able to gather insights from different user groups and create a more inclusive and accessible design. Tip 3. Involve users with disabilities in your research. The third tip to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines is to involve users with disabilities in your research. Involving people with disabilities in your user research can provide valuable insights into their needs and challenges. These users can provide valuable insights and feedback on how to make your design more inclusive and accessible. When involving users with disabilities in your research, it is important to make sure that you provide accommodations that meet their needs. For example, if you are conducting a usability test with a user who is blind, you may need to provide a screen reader or a braille display. It's also important to make sure that you are respectful of their time and that you compensate them for their participation. By involving users with disabilities in your research, you will be able to create a more inclusive and accessible design that meets the needs of all users. Tip 4. Analyze your data with accessibility and GDS principles in mind. The fourth tip to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines is to analyze your data with these principles in mind. As you analyze your data, make sure to look for patterns and trends that relate to accessibility and GDS guidelines. This will help you identify areas where you need to make improvements. For example, if you are conducting a usability test with users who are visually impaired, you may want to look for patterns in how they interact with your product using assistive technologies. This can help you identify areas where you need to improve the accessibility of your design. By analyzing your data with accessibility and GDS principles in mind, you will be able to identify areas where you need to make improvements and create a more inclusive and accessible design. 5. Incorporate accessibility and GDS principles into your design process. 
The fifth tip to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines is to incorporate these principles into your design process. By doing so, you will be able to create a more inclusive and accessible design from the outset. For example, you may want to incorporate accessibility testing into your design process, or you may want to create design guidelines that are informed by accessibility and GDS principles. By doing so, you can ensure that accessibility and inclusivity are built into your design from the beginning, rather than added as an afterthought. Incorporating accessibility and GDS principles into your design process also helps to ensure that you are meeting legal requirements and industry standards. For example, many countries have laws and regulations that require products and services to be accessible to people with disabilities. By incorporating accessibility and GDS principles into your design process, you will be able to create a more effective, inclusive, and accessible design that meets the needs of all users. 6. Use Assistive Technology Using assistive technology such as screen readers, magnifiers, and voice recognition software can help you understand how people with disabilities interact with your design. This will help you identify accessibility issues and improve your design accordingly. For example, using a screen reader will allow you to understand how visually impaired users experience your website or app. 7. Conduct a thorough accessibility audit Conducting a thorough accessibility audit is essential to identifying and addressing accessibility issues in your design. This can involve reviewing your design against accessibility guidelines such as the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines WCAG, testing with assistive technology, and involving people with disabilities in the process. Accessibility audits will help you understand the gaps in your design and how to address them. 8. Provide alternative formats for content Providing alternative formats for content such as audio descriptions, transcripts, and captions can make your design more accessible to people with disabilities. This will also improve the overall user experience for all users. For example, providing transcripts for videos will allow deaf users to access the content. 9. Keep up to date with accessibility guidelines and standards. Accessibility guidelines and standards are constantly evolving, so it's important to stay up to date with the latest developments. This can involve regularly reviewing accessibility guidelines such as HAG, and attending training and conferences to stay informed. Keeping up to date with the latest standards will help you ensure that your products are accessible to as many people as possible. 10. Design for all levels of accessibility when designing for accessibility, it's important to consider all levels of accessibility, from basic to advanced. This can involve providing basic accessibility features such as alt tags for images, as well as more advanced features such as support for assistive technology. Designing for all levels of accessibility will help you ensure that your product is usable by as many people as possible. 11. Consider Cognitive Accessibility in addition to physical disabilities, it's important to consider cognitive disabilities such as dyslexia and ADHD. This can involve using clear and simple language, avoiding complex layouts, and providing visual cues to help users navigate your design. Designing for cognitive accessibility will ensure that your product is usable by people with a wide range of cognitive abilities. 12. Test with a diverse group of users. Testing with a diverse group of users can help you identify accessibility issues that you may not have considered. This can involve testing with people with different disabilities, as well as people from different cultures, ages, and backgrounds. Testing with a diverse group of users will help you ensure that your product is accessible to as many people as possible. 13. Use Inclusive Design Principles Inclusive design principles involve designing products and services that work for as many people as possible, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. This can involve designing with empathy, involving users in the design process, and using universal design principles. 
Designing with inclusive design principles will ensure that your product is usable by as many people as possible. 14. Advocate for accessibility. Finally, it's important to advocate for accessibility within your organization and industry. This can involve educating colleagues on the importance of accessibility, advocating for accessibility in design decisions, and participating in accessibility initiatives and organizations. Advocating for accessibility will help ensure that accessibility is prioritized in all aspects of your organization. 15. Provide alternative formats for content. Providing alternative formats for content is an essential aspect of making your research accessible to people with disabilities. For example, you can provide audio descriptions, transcripts, and captions for videos to make them more accessible for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. You can also provide alternate text for images, which can be read by screen readers for people who are blind or visually impaired. Moreover, providing alternative formats doesn't only make your research accessible to people with disabilities, but it can also enhance the overall user experience for all users. For instance, providing transcripts for videos can make it easier for users to quickly search for and find specific information. So there you have it, tips and tricks to improve your user research with accessibility and GDS guidelines. By following these tips, you will be able to create a more effective, inclusive, and accessible design that meets the needs of all users, including those with disabilities. Making your user research accessible is essential to reach a broader audience, including people with disabilities and those who use assistive technology. Remember, accessibility and inclusivity are not just moral imperatives, they are also good business practices. By designing products and services that are accessible to everyone, you can increase your customer base, improve your bottom line and enhance the overall user experience for all users. So, start incorporating accessibility and GDS guidelines into your user research today and see the positive impact it can have on your design and your business. Thanks for watching. Please like video and subscribe to our channel.